I, I want to ask a serious question. <clears throat> why was she? And I, just curious. Why was right. she? Right. Yeah. Go ahead. Right. I'm right. asking. Why was she? Right. No, I'm asking. I don't really care why she did it. I'm just curious why you think I that. No clue, bro. Uh, because I make her happy for sure. She had a rough relationship before me. Uh, dog like put tracking devices on her car and shit. Like was like, you know what I mean? I just treat her good. How yeah. do you do that? Dude, I make sure the coffee's done in the morning. Like, make sure she gets up on time. Like, any like do her laundry. Like, I take care of the girl shit that's supposed to be like the woman role. And she works all the time. How long y'all been together? So, uh, like two years, a little bit over two years. Two years. <clears throat> We're chilling, bro. How how did it make you feel to be a house husband? I hated it at first. Uh, I still hate it. Hmm. It sucks. It is what it is, though. Like, I'm playing my role. I ain't never had to play this role before, but I'm trying real hard. What What makes you... Okay, I had to say she's the breadwinner and all that kind of stuff. she's got a kid. I don't have no kids. Uh, she's got a son that's 11. So you... <laughs> and I, uh, so she has a kid that's 11? Down. Yeah. What they made you get with the woman dad. who had a kid already? They ain't never met his dad, so I'm his dad. What well, made you get with the woman who had a kid? Uh, I did that before. It was a song that would like scare me away, necessarily, but uh, he had to, he had a rough time before, and uh, ever since I came around, he seemed to be doing better too. Hopefully, I don't know. Let me ask you this. You don't know me. I don't know you. <clears throat> Do you feel like she treats you with the same respect as if you were the breadwinner? Uh, I can tell you this. The other day I had to make sure she knows that none of that shit means anything to me. Like the money does not really mean anything to me. Like, Does she treat you any differently? She be buying me a bunch <clears throat> of shit. Like, yeah. I don't feel like she's around as much as she wants to be. Like she ain't got a lot of time around the house because she works twelves and shit. How? So you say you don't like this? How long do you think you'll be able to do this? She is almost done with school, so hopefully, once she's done with school, she will only be working, and that'll free up some time. Free up? Oh, okay. So you're saying you don't like being a house husband? Because y'all don't spend much time together. Nah, both ways. Because like, I'm not out making money. But also, here's the thing, too. Mm -hmm. In my past, even when I was working a regular job, I was always trying to make the little bit of extra money here and there. The little side hustles and shit. But not the right way. So I just kind of respect that I don't got a bunch of time right now between my son and taking care of the house. I don't even have to deal with the temptation of doing none of that shit. I used to be a bad dude, like, like a bad person. So let me ask you a question. <clears throat> if you had got a girl who wasn't the breadwinner, would you have been okay with that? Yeah, we would have just probably had to struggle more because we would have been struggling together. I'm not struggling right now by any means. Is she's completely respectful to you, towards you? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Do you? F I, I uh, wouldn't be able to like not make no money and then get treated some type of way. You yeah. know? Well, yeah. I only ask you that, and I, I'm just trying to get a real world experience because a lot of men and a lot of women will say, <clears throat> if a guy's not making as much as me or not making enough, I can't respect him. I can go out and make money. That's for sure. She doesn't like me to do anything illegal or, like, that kind of way. And, oh, so I had a couple of people that I was still, like, falling back into old shit when I first started being around her. She literally bought my, like, block them and I'll give you this much. Fuck it. That's what she finally did, like, because she didn't want me. Like, I was selling drugs and shit. 
Well, yeah, that, that right, and you were selling. So how did y'all even come across each other? I met her through a friend of mine. Like, it was a girl that I knew, and it was her. her they were friends. And she said, "She's she saw the good in you, or <clears throat> uh, I can say that from my past relationship, my ex, my immediate ex, I met her like very shortly afterwards. Through the experiences I had with my immediate ex, I am a completely different person than a lot of people know." Are y'all married? No, nah, we're engaged. Oh, when's the wedding? I, I have a warrant that oh. I have to take care of before we can do the whole th the marriage thing. Why is that? Well, because it's pretty serious. Well, wait, wait. Like, <laughs> you have a warrant right now? Yeah. Brother, she has money. I've What's... been on the run for like two years. You got to be kidding me. Deadass. What are you doing, young man? What are we doing out I'm here? Building a family. About to get it took away from me again. You know. I, I'm assuming if you get caught that you're going to be gone for Well, here's a while. the thing. I don't know. Because the only thing that they have is this other girl's story. And I never talked to him. I left like I ran. And I never seen no cops since then. But What's... they got a girl's story, and she has, in the past, also painted dudes like they beat the shit out of her. And this girl literally bit my face. Like, I have scars with pictures and, like, proof and shit. Like, she had me held hostage in a hotel room. And as I go to leave, she, beat, like, bites me in the face. So to get this girl off of me, I did put my hands on her. But, like, what the fuck was I supposed to do? So you're on a warrant for an assault charge. Hell yeah. <clears throat> how long would like you be how long would, how long would they put you in for though? I have no idea. I have a bunch of felonies, like a bunch. I have no idea, dude. Yeah, I'm but, about to have a good lawyer when I go to court though. Have you already like, served time, time for your felonies? Oh yeah, I'm done. I have no like probation or nothing like that. So got, you like, got a, a bad record. So she cannot help you get a lawyer? Yeah, we get it. we're going to take care of it, but it's like ten bands. <laughs> ten bands. I mean, we I'm we got that shit like probably put up by now. I'm just not looking forward to taking care of that shit. Though. So this woman is willing to do all of this for you, right? Just because of what? I'm I'm being honest at this point. I Why? Mean, I guess because I'm who I am, I guess. I don't know. I stand, I like, I do what I say. Like, I'm respectful. Like, I'm polite. I'm, like, I'm what you would want. Like, what I'm what you would want your son to be. Sure. Like, she ain't, she ain't had somebody to treat her right, I guess. Like, I guess the last dude was, like, doing all kinds of crazy weird shit. And, like, I just do what I'm supposed to do, I guess. I don't know. Brother, I've heard some. Right. I've heard some wild stories. This one right here. You think this one's wild? Yes. Okay, so she the nurse. I'm, dead, I'm serious. Like 100% truth. There's no reason for me to bullshit. No, no, no. I'm you not can surprised look up the by the warrant if you want. I'm not surprised by what you're saying. I'm just surprised that a woman who is a nurse, who is a breadwinner, who has a son, who knows you're on the run, is still cool with you being a house husband and just oh, living yeah. life. That's this what's wild. <laughs> How long has she been a nurse, by the way? It's over 10 years. Uh, She's been a nurse since she was 17 and she's 32. So, like 14 years. 13, when, 14 years. Oh, she's 32? When did y'all get together? Yeah, I'm 34. Oh, so two you got to get the two years ago. So when she was thirty, yeah. And you're, you said you're thirty-four. Yeah. Okay. And y'all live in a? Is that a one-bedroom house? Yeah. Y'all live in a one-bedroom with the son. 
Hold on, hold on. Nah, bro, hold on. Oh. Let me do something. Let me do something. Okay, it looks bigger than a... Oh, okay. Oh, y'all live in a uh, two-story. Is that a townhouse? Yeah. Yeah. How do you think you got so lucky? Dude, to be honest, it's probably the bullshit that I just dealt with, like, in my last, like, relationship. Because all I wanted to do was settle the fuck down and have somebody to be there for me. And, like, I was working my ass off, like, trying to do everything that I could for this forgive me bitch. And she, like, had mental health problems that she was not trying to get help for. Like, she was not trying to hear about it. She was not trying to listen about it. Like, She has mental health problems now? No, nah, that ex, my ex. Oh, you're, oh, okay, okay, sorry. That's okay. probably why I got lucky this time. Because I'm telling you right now, I dealt with some bullshit. Uh, man, this this. I've is... been to the joint three times. Like what? How... You been to the joint three times? How long you been yeah, out, I've been, bro? I've been through all kinds of crazy shit. This is just like a little. <laughs> That's fair. How long you been out? You said you don't do anything anymore. I'm seeing you're clean 2020. now. 2020. Yeah, I mean, I'm smoking weed. Well, how about the heart of drugs. Yeah, I don't do heroin anymore. I don't do meth anymore. Two years? I've been home for four. Oh, okay. But before that, it really wasn't like a lot of time in between like jail, prison, probation. Like, but I've been out and off probation, like off parole, all that shit for four, four years now. Man. And I got a son and a wife and shit like. And a wife. Yeah, I mean her shit. They, I mean, what we gotta do? Go sign the paper, like. Yeah. Get to you know it. What I'm saying. Well, I don't understand. Yeah. I really want to understand though. Why is the warrant stopping you? It's not. She's just uncomfortable with it. Really now. She wants me to go take care of it like immediately, like. But she also doesn't want me to be away, so. It's kind of like a rock and a hard place. But she, but she's the one. And no offense towards her, but she's the one holding it up. She she makes the money. Right, but who's gonna watch B when she when I'm in jail and she's at work? You know. Oh, I'm, are you saying even if you? Get, oh, okay. Wait a minute. What's the ten bands for? It is that not for bail? For a lawyer. Oh, that, oh, that's for the lawyer. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm I'm not gonna get a bail. Because of your felonies. Well, I jumped bond in Michigan before and shit. Like, I'm probably not going to get a bond. And uh, I'm on the run for, like, years now, so. <laughs> so you're really, really, really in a hard... So I'm guessing you can't leave the house. Oh, yeah, I fuck around, bro. I... Listen, I promise you I'd live every single day just like everybody else. I just don't talk about it a lot. People just don't know me. I, I blend in. I don't fuck around. I don't have no friends. Like, I just want to know, man, why did you run? I mean, that assault charge, was that going to put you away for a few years? Have you ever been in a position? All right, now listen, I was 32, we'll say, when this happened. In 32 years, I had never been put in a position where I had to put my hands on a girl to make myself safe. Have you ever been put in a position like that? Like, like I've been in a lot of positions, like, in, like, fights. I've seen girls get beat up by guys. I've been seen all kinds of shit. But I've never been put in a position where if I didn't do what I had to do, something bad was going to look, bro, I got a scar right here. Right here, there's teeth marks. And then across this finger right here, she almost bit my finger off, dude. That's very sorry. My thing was playing on my speaker. Well, I get that. I don't know if you can see this shit. Like, and this bitch, like, could paint any story she wanted, and I had already, like, taken off. You know what I mean? Like, it was kind of like I had already went, so fuck it. Had they already said how long you were going to go away? That's what I'm wondering. Like, are you just afraid about that? No, it's like an aggravated assault. It's like a felonious assault. Oh, so it would be another felony. So until you get this well, lawyer, which doesn't really, which doesn't really matter. Like, 
the felony is just regardless. Like, the, it's just the time. I don't want to do all that shit again, dude. You have no idea how many times I've rebuilt. This time, though, like, I can't lose this shit. It sounds like you're going to lose it, though. Hell no. Uh, even if you... Even, no, I'm talking about if you get the lawyer... They're still probably going to throw you in until trial, right? That bitch is lying, though. Well, yeah, but what, a speedy trial is 90 days. They have to bring me to trial in 90 days. Fair enough. Okay. So you're going to get the lawyer, go down for three months, and then get, go to trial? I have to take it to trial. What's she gonna, listen, we were both on drugs. What's she going to do? Go there and tell them the exact same thing she told him the first time? Not a chance in hell. She hears voices. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like in my stance where my life is at, I am level-headed. Like, I do understand what's going on in the real world. And she does not. Or she didn't at that time anyway. So I can guarantee you that. <laughs> this girl had my entire family believing like a whole ass lie about my life that never even like began to happen. Like, because I used to do drugs. She had like these people believing that I was like out and off running again, doing drugs and all kinds of shit. And I was literally never even began to do that. Oh, you got a <clears throat> very interesting life, brother. When I made the comment I made earlier about you laying down, I did not know this conversation would go this way. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I present, I know how to present myself. I was just chilling, dog. That's fair, man. Well, you know what, man? I, I hope it all works out there. Go ahead. I appreciate you for all of this because I haven't thought about that in a little while. So I do appreciate this. Uh, I should probably get that shit taken care of. Get it done, brother. Man, I wish you the best, man. I really do. Thank you. Have a good night, man. You too, brother. And that, people, and that is why we stayed on. Ladies, if I didn't just give you the best example of your reality, 30-year-old knows breadwinner with a man who's on the run. I'm not going to say allegedly because I don't know. That's your reality, ladies. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep up that self love. Go get your nursing degree. Just like those ladies I talked to, I talked to in the beginning. You remember those ladies I talked to in the beginning? Maybe I'll throw a clip in here in the beginning of this. You'll see. I said this exact same thing. Now you're gonna get your degree. You're gonna do all this. You're gonna look up, hoping to find a man. And then you're gonna find a man that says what? They say you ain't wifey type, but I don't care, I want you. Hey, I said, what are you going to have to do? You're going to have to go get with Pookie. I, I wish those two young ladies that I talked to at the very beginning of this whole thing could see what I just saw. 32 years old woman with a son, single baby mama. And that was her best option. And that was her best option. Now you understand why I say everything I said. You ladies don't want to listen. Good luck to you. I don't want to give it the average guy, you know, because he don't have a degree. I'm a nurse. I get it. My sister is a nurse. I get it. My sister is a nurse. She makes very good money. She has the same mindset. I can't get married and all this other stuff because she makes a good eighty, ninety thousand dollar a year. Now she's, you know, now she's got a kid. She got nothing. That's what I'm saying. Hey, that was a good. That was a good discussion though.